Welcome to this instruction video of the Internet Search Panel. Click on the Internet from the menu, next on the Internet Search button to open the Internet Explorer. On the left side you see the tree and each node in the tree represents the description of a search. Each search can contain many different parameters. This one is an example of a very simple one. We just entered the words Son of Soul, selected as an engine Duck the Go, and we use the Bang movie database. A Bang is a very neat way to directly search the selected database, in this case the IMDB database. Double click on the node to execute the search and shift click on the result to open the details in the right panel. And you can see how handy it is to have two panels, a left one and a right one, the left one containing the results of your search, the right one displaying the details of the result. Again, double clicking on the node to execute a search on the internet for the SQL statements at the W3 schools, because we want to learn some more about SQL statements. We use Google as a search engine and shift click on the result to open the details in the right panel again. So it's very handy to save each search you execute on the internet in a database. Giving it a meaningful statement will allow you to execute it with one simple double click on the tree node to execute the search. You can have many different parameters. For instance, this is a period of 24 hours since the last time the entries were added and or updated on the internet. You can search for certain file types, certain languages. You can exclude some parameters, certain phrases. You can search for certain sites. You can use different operators, just search in the cache or in the link or related to the site. And all the parameters you can just enter once and execute and use many times later. Okay. I hope you have a notice and or have an idea of what uh, the database will allow you to do on the internet. Okay. To wrap it up, the tree contains Save searches. The top panel represents the record of the database where the parameters are stored. Selecting the search engine and executing the search, clicking on the button or double click on the node in the tree. All the searches are, of course, saved as you can see in this overview. You can use the tree, but you can also search for a certain um, word, like Martha Keller. Double click to execute the search. It's saved. Take you back to the details. We have searched for Martha Keller using the Yahoo Faces engine. You can update the engines yourself going to the configuration of folder view. Here you see all the engines listed. Sometimes uh, a search engine will change a bit, but you can add and change it yourself. The phrase par1 represents the parameter used and the phrases you search for go back to the search panel. So here you see again the listing of all the different search engines. Okay. I hope you will have a nice time exploring it yourself. Uh, we won't go over all the details because the details listed here are exactly the same as are in the Internet Explorer itself. So you probably notice them. Um, one extra new feature, I think it's not by default in the Internet Explorer, 
that you can have a security check uh, by using the Google Safe or Norton or Securi. If the, the website is safe for you to enter, uh, you can uh, go and use Alexia or similar web, or you can enter an, uh, an a URL of a website before you go to check if it's safe.